Hey, it's KB5M, I'm gonna keep you big boy. I'm gonna do a little intro here for just a few seconds to uh, maybe cover a couple of things I missed. Uh, the video coming on behind this is all about Echo Link, and I made some contacts on it. The camera's turned right, you should be able to see everything. I'm not real good at explaining a lot of this stuff that I'm using on the tablet. Uh, but Echo Link, if you just look at it, it's real easy to figure out. Uh, the only thing you'll have to remember is when you hit transmit and say your transmit and then hit, tap it to send it, there's lag time there. And I'm sure that's something to do with internet and links and, and distance. Um, but just remember that. If you got any questions on Echo Link, comment, shoot me an email. I'll try to help you out. And hopefully that'll explain a little bit more about Echo Link. Like I said, I'm fixing to tag it on here now. This is a KB5 MIQ Big Boy, 73. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. This KB5 MIQ Big Boy. Second attempt at this video. I started out telling y'all I had to have a steroid shot in my back today. And hey, I'm Radio Cat. And, uh, their version of anesthesia just to take the edge off and me is kind of different. I've been loopy all day. So if I sound loopy, I'm trying not to. And evidently, I wasn't as smart as I thought I was. I had a request for a uh, deep drive into Echo Link. And I was filming it and couldn't connect and realized I was still in the audio test service. We're going to try this again. Uh, one of my listeners, new subscriber, asked us about asked me about uh, if I could explain Echo Link a little better. So I'm gonna try. Y'all apologize. I apologize for my audio visual skills aren't that good, but we're gonna try it anyway. Hopefully it'll come out. Uh, said earlier video about how to get into Echo Link. You know they've got an Android version, and I'm sure they got an iPhone version. I, I use Android. Uh, you have to download an official copy of your ticket from the FCC and you have to have your FRN number to do that and send it to Echo Link. And if I remember right, they were pretty good about sending, hey, ham radio cat, telling you how to get it set up. And seeing as I'm a boomer and has been set up a over a year, I can't remember that. So we're going to assume you've got it set up. So we're going to start with how the page looks and different things you have to go into with it. So let's see if we can give this a shot, and I hope I can make sense with it. All right. When you pull up, let me start back at the beginning again. All right, the Echo Link icon looks just like that right there. Hope y'all can see that. It says Echo Link. Tap on that, and it says ready. This is the page it will come up with all the different options you have on it. And I just kicked it off again. Echo test. We did this while I go on this before I messed up. I think I got it figured out. You top on echo test. This Welcome test. To the echo link test server. This server records your transmissions and plays them back to help you adjust your transmitted and received audio. Please feel free to connect as often as you like. All right. Down there at the bottom, you'll see there's a transmit button. When you tap on it, microphone comes up. KB5, MIQ, Kilo Bravo 5, Mexico, India, Quebec. Microphone comes up. KB5, MIQ, Kilo Bravo 5, Mexico, India, Quebec. And that's just how your audio sounds. On here, that didn't go anywhere. That's just an audio test. So when you get back to this page here, all your options are listed. So we're going to try locations. And you get a listing of Africa, Asia, Europe, North America, Oceania, and South America. And that's what it looks like. Just like that. So let's just... Uh, Let's try a different country. Let's see what Oceania. Uh, Australia, Indonesia, New Zealand, and the Philippines. That's what that looks like. Well, let's try Australia. Then you get a listing of nodes that are linked repeaters. 
right. Let's try this one. When you tap on one, you'll get a connect message. Looks just like that. Uh, no route available. So a lot of these will be like that. Well, let's try this one. Access denied. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody's already. All right, we're connected. That's what it'll look like. Let's see if we can talk to anybody. Uh, this is KB5 MIQ in Texas. KB5 MIQ in Texas. That's showing it's on 146.750 Southeast NSW Australia. We'll try one more time and we'll go to a different way. Uh, yes, this is a KB5 MIQ in Texas, Kilo Bravo 5, Mexico, India, Quebec. Okay, real good. That's uh, about 7 o'clock at night here in northeast Texas. Uh, raining, freezing rain. Probably going to get a little winter mix tonight. I was just uh, experimenting here with uh, Echo Link. I appreciate you coming back to me. Okay, name is uh, David, uh, call sign Kilo Bravo 5, Mike, India, Quebec, Mexico, India, Quebec, here in Avery, Texas, and uh, I am also have a ham radio YouTube channel, and I'm filming this to, to help a new ham out, I hope you don't mind, I uh, appreciate you coming back to me, I got a little channel up here where I try to help new hams out, and if you don't mind, I need your call sign again so I can write it down. Uh, 
VK2 STG from KB5 MIQ. Thank you very much for the comeback. I hope you have a great day. 73 from KB5 MIQ. See? 2DIE from KB5 MIQ. Thank you very much. I got you real good here in Northeast Texas, town of Avery. And like I said earlier to, to the other channel, uh, other station, I'm uh, working on a YouTube video. I have a ham radio related YouTube channel for new hams. And I had a guy ask a question about how to use Echo Link. The uh, channel is uh, KB5 MIQ Big Boy. If you ever have time and you want to check it out. No, I keep up with it, but I'm in extreme northeast Texas, up the Oklahoma-Arkansas border. I actually, I have never been to that part of Texas in my life. Kind of always wanted to go, but pretty big state, and I've never made it down that far. I have a small farm, a few cows on it here south of a little town called Avery. I live out in the country with my wife, got about 14 head of cows, and just being retired and enjoying life at the moment. VK2 DIE from KB5 MIQ. Thank you for the comeback. I really appreciate it. I uh, hope everything going good down there. I got to go QRT a moment myself and finish this video up. Have a great day. KB5 MIQ 73. Okay. We made two contacts. So we made two contacts on Echo Link to Australia. I found out if I'm going to log them on to a QRZ, they're going to be a call a VOI contact. So that's that's always a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of your old hams are going to tell you Echo Link ain't a real radio. In a, in a sense, maybe not, but in a sense, it is. Uh, 
cell phones, if you really get down to it, a cell phone is nothing but a handy talkie with a phone patch built into it. A really fancy one, I'll admit, but that's all they are. Uh, it's an approved mode, just like digital modes. A lot of guys don't like, but when I look at this, it's a free download. If you're a new ham, I would rather see you get on Echo Link where you got a chance of making some DX contacts and making contacts all over the world with your tech ticket than buying a $25 bail phone and being at the mercy of whether repeaters were active or not. Something to look into. I think it's a, a good mode to have around. I say I don't use it a whole lot. I've had a few listeners want me to contact them on it, and I've always tried to. But I hope that helps. I um, know I apologize for my audio-visual skills, but it's pretty simple what to, to use once you get into it. All right, y'all remember Main Trading Company, Paris, Texas. Uh, great company to deal with for Ham Radio. They're doing a major store remodel, website redo now, but... They've got a bunch of used gear up there all the time, so it's worth checking out. Uh, remember all your local ham clubs, Four States Amateur, Dallas Amateur, Cowtown Amateur, uh, Shreveport Amateur, Irving Amateur Radio Club. Fact, they're having a uh, March the 5th, they're having their little ham fest out there. I'll tag a picture of it on the end of this. Uh, your uh, Facebook pages, Ham Radio Flea Market Trading Post, Ham Radio, Amateur Radio Elmers, Texas Amateur Ham Radio, all good places for information. We're still doing our uh, uh, roundtable on 28450, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Friday nights, 28450 or up if a van's occupied, if the frequency's occupied. Uh, we're on there for about an hour, start at 730 Central Standard Time. I appreciate everybody who subscribed to the channel. My call signs KB5MIQ. My email's on my QRZ page. Leave me a comment. Leave me a shoot me an email if you got any questions. I'll try to help you any way I can. KB5MIQ, big boy, 73.